Hey guys, this is Lee Jackson, and I'm I'm loving Dubzado, guys. It is phenomenal, and I just wanted to show you how I'm adding forms to my website because I'm pretty sure this is something that other creatives may struggle with. So here I have a Gravity Forms form. Pretty much does nothing other than send me an email. Whereas now, if I replace this with the Dubzado form, I'm going to be able to get these in as potential jobs and actually do something with it. So that's really exciting. Now, first of all, just to insert a form as standard, if I just go and close this and go ahead and click here and grab the share code. Uh, so control A. I'm going to go into my page builder here. So I'm using Beaver Builder on my website, although you may be using anything. You could just be using the standard text area here that you can paste it into if you wish. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in with a HTML module that comes inside of Beaver Builder, which is pretty awesome. So I'm pasting that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the old form, which was here as well. All right, press done and publish. So that's the first step. Now, the downside is for me at the moment <clears throat> is this doesn't look great. It doesn't match my brand or my design. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've already started to configure this by doing things like changing the font. So I changed the font to Laura, which is actually the text font that I use. And I also uh, changed the default size to 18, which is the font size I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and change this font color here to white, which is awesome. I've already changed the button text, and I'm going to press save. And if I switch back now and reload, then we're at least going to see that the text is white. Now, the next problems that I'm going to have are things like this padding isn't right, so we've not got alignment, etc. So this is where we can go ahead and use the code block element. So I can drag this code block here at the bottom and click on it. I'm going to get rid of that, uh, which was just their default code, and I'm going to put in some styles. So this is where you can go crazy with CSS. And if you don't know CSS, at this point, you may want to get somebody to help you out. I'm making this video in the assumption that many of you will be aware of CSS. So the first thing I want to do is at least sort out that padding issue. So what I can do is to find out what is creating the padding in the form, I can use the inspect tool. Um, and most browsers have an inspect tool. And then I can click anywhere in here and then just have a look through the code until I can find what might be causing that padding and we can see here that the, there is this padding here on the container so I will be putting in some code to remove the padding on the container for my button I don't want rounded edges so I'm gonna put in some button code here so I'm saying border radius is zero I also want to affect the default height of this. This is the text area, so I'm going to pop in some code for the text area to say that I want the minimum height to be at least 150 pixels. And I've used the inspect tool every single time. Um, when you click on a field, it gets a highlight um, around the edges. And because we're removing the padding, that highlight gets cut off. So I don't really want the, the highlight um, surround it's like a box shadow so I'm removing that with this code I've also decided that I'll need to make our stars um, for the required fields I will want to make them white and I'm making the position relative so that I can just shove them up ever so slightly um, so that they look a, a little bit more on point and then finally um, so that's this that's these guys here which are all red and then finally I want to affect this button it doesn't look great right now um, so I want to add to this button a solid border alright so I've done all those and I'm gonna press save and then if I do a refresh we should see that this form looks completely different. Okay, so I've now got my white text. I've got all of my form fields. I've got a button here with the square edges. We've got this, the right height. So everything, as far as I'm concerned, now looks on brand, and this looks great. I also did the exact same process for the contact page over here. So the form loads. Um, so we changed the color. We removed the border um, radius. And we made this uh, particular size. 
um, and we remove the padding just so that things like this are all in line because things like that are really important to web designers, designers, developers, etc. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.